Here is the Iowa State weather forecast for today. This is the weather forecast video for Thursday, August the 16th, 2012. Taking a look at the satellite image from last evening, cold front coming through the middle part of the country, bringing a few showers and thunderstorms across the area, and a storm system moving off the east coast, and the monsoon continuing sporadically over the desert south and west. Watch warning map from a bit before midnight. A few scattered severe thunderstorm warnings in the middle west, but they were very isolated and few and far between. Heat advisories, excessive heat warnings up in the northwest, and fairly quiet elsewhere across the country. QPF chart, precipitation over the next five days through Monday evening at 7 o'clock, and most of the rain you see in the state fell last night, and even that wasn't as much as that. It could have a little bit of rain later in the weekend and into next week. So let's take a look at the Zero Z GFS model run at 1 p.m. this afternoon. We have the trough digging back down out of Canada into the western Great Lakes and upper Midwest with a northwesterly flow and the cold front zipping through the state. Could see some early morning showers mainly before noon in the southeastern half of the state. After that, clearing, cooler, windy, temperatures in the 70s, and Friday highs in the maybe upper 60s to middle to upper 70s, morning lows likely in the 40s, although there could be some cooler spots. Saturday, we have a disturbance just to our north rotating around this low over James Bay. Those could be instability showers with the heating of the day. They'll be very sporadic, isolated. They'll move into our area, into the state on Sunday, but they'll be very sporadic, very isolated, very small showers and only dumping a hundredth or two at most. And Monday, same story. Partly to mostly sunny with maybe an instability shower or two. Very isolated, scattered, hardly worth mentioning. Tuesday, that moves off. Wind begins to switch around to the south and temperatures begin to warm back to around 80. A couple degrees either side of 80 at this point. And by the middle of next week, Wednesday, the wind really starts to blow out of the south and west. Temperatures upper 70s to middle 80s, maybe some upper 80s with southwesterly winds, about 10 to 15 miles an hour. And a week from today, we have another frontal system coming through that's going to be dropping the trough down with this subtropical ridge trying to get its act together and bump its way back up here with the extreme heat. But this frontal system is going to say no. And it's going to bring some more showers and thunderstorms around. So we'll have to see if this occurs, because this could be the next best chance of rain. A couple days later, on the 27th, we have a trough moving into the north and west. A ridge trying to build itself back in from the south southern plains in the southwest. But at this point, it looks like we're just going to have some seasonal weather. Rain to the east, rain to the south, rain to the west. We'll be in the middle, but that doesn't seem to be much of a problem. And at the end of the forecast on August 30th, a bit of a trough just to our west, subtropical ridge over the southern third of the country, and we have the GFS hurricane of the day off way off the east coast, moving away from the United States. Around here, we have another storm system in the plains that will be coming this way with possibly more rain toward the end of the month. Thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video. We'll have another one on Friday.